Trump and Tucker, okay? Mm. Lots was covered. The first thing that we can talk about is the number. If you can go to the video to see how many views it's got, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, this thing is uh, it got this many views and that many views, and there's a lot of criticism that people want to kind of trash the amount of views. I'll just give you the basic formula for us from the back-end standpoint. It's the top one. If you can click on that, zoom in so we can see the – you can pause the video. There you go. Zoom in to see the data. There you go. So it shows 233 million views, okay? And it's at 678,000 likes. Uh, how many comments does it say? Go a little lower to see what the comments are because it should show the comments as well. They apparently took the comments out. It what should have Kate comments. Say? Earlier was 50,000 comments. Scrolling um, up. Yeah, but but don't don't get distracted. So stay on here real quick. So what does it say? Uh, it doesn't show you the comments, Rob. Can you can you refresh it? It was showing comments earlier. I don't know what they did to remove the comments. It's so funny because comments was shown literally earlier today. Let me go on it from my phone, uh, where it shows how many comments it was. So so 178 reposted it. Seven only 17,000 quotes. 678. Oh, you know how many comments? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's it shows. On mine it shows. 54,500 comments is what it shows. By the way, you have to go back. So go back to Tucker's account. Go back to Tucker's account. Go up a little bit. And 54,500. So stay right there and just pause the video. Okay. okay. So 54,500 comments. People are saying this is the biggest thing ever since sliced bread, 233 million. Obviously, a lot of people watched this interview. But the numbers work in a different way on how they do the math to get the insights. For example, Rob, did Brandon give you the interview we did with, uh, what's his name, with uh, Andrew Tate? Uh, if you have that, if you can just pull it up, I think you do have the picture somewhere around here that he took a screenshot of it just for people to know because this is important to know the difference right there. So this is a, one of our interviews we did with, uh, uh, with Tate, okay? And each one of them I think has gotten 15 million views. Is this the second one or the first one? This is the second one. Okay, so we're just kind of opening up the hood and just showing it to you what happened. So this got 15.1 million views, if you show that, where it says 15.1 million views, Rob, if you can circle around this so the audience can see it, 15.1 million views, perfect. If you look at impressions, it got 133 million views. On mm. Twitter, that is that, if that makes sense. Now, uh, if we go look at how many, uh, what do you call it, uh, how many comments this interview got with Tate? Let's just go look at the comments. Because that's one of the ways the guys in the business, uh, who us, who we create content, we look at stuff like this, okay? The number of comments Tate's interview got this one is, what's the number? If you want to read it, the comments is what? Right there it says it. 70,000 70,000 comments. So Tate's interview got 70,000 comments. That's Tate is not more controversial than Trump and Tate, Trump and Tucker, the day of GOP, mm. meaning that interview still got around 20 million real views. That's still a big Huge. interview being done. So, you know, as much as people are saying, well, it's not this, it's not that. No, it's still a massive interview. It's still a massive eyeball. It still hit 20 million views where people stuck around to watch the whole thing because you're also looking at retention, all of that stuff. You can get off of this thing here, Rob, if you want. So, so in reality, big interview, big numbers, but Twitter a couple months ago took off showing the real views, and they're only showing essentially the number that's impressions. Okay, so that's that part. Now, So it's 11%. That's the number. Give or, give or take, just look at about a tenth. Whatever that number okay. says, it's around a tenth. Got it. Still. 23 million views in less than 24 hours. That's a lot of freaking views well, to I, talk about. I think that's uh, you're, it's a very, very important point that you're making because if you know anything about CPM and views and Nielsen ratings and everything with that, like if you look at even Forbes' entire article today was Trump's interview with Tucker has more than 150 million views on X, Twitter. Here's why that's misleading. That's their number one story. And I, I mean, I'm a buddy of mine is like, they got 185 million views. And I'm like, no, that doesn't work that way. It's actually 18.5 million is probably the best way to put it. So right now, where, where there, there's the Forbes um, article right there. So what was the number of views that we just had? 233. We, so it's more like 23 million. Yeah. So if you just make sense. So Adam, basically, if you're on your phone okay. and you just scrolled and yeah. that interview popped up, that's an impression. Well, I, can we pull up that Tate interview? Like that we that that uh, 
that we did? All right. 133 million impressions. We didn't get 133 no, million of views. People just we got saw it 15. On YouTube. They just saw it in so the I think it's square. very important that what you're what you're putting out there, Pat. Yeah, I mean, the p point's been made. So you kind of yeah. now have an idea to look at what the numbers look like, okay? This is a debate amongst media companies because when you're selling ads, hey, which one is the real ad to get? Because I can get 10 times the amount of money or dollars. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's the marketing side. It is what it is. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.